Welcome to WPTV with today's news team. We have Hope McMonagle, Michelle Richter, and Levi Tucker. Waking up early, getting ready for school. Brush your teeth, fix your hair, but don't forget this room. This room. When you come to the building, gotta be prepared Gotta have your mask on, but don't let it make you scared We're all doing this, so don't be scared Wash your hands, give everybody space Read other terms and don't leave a trace First line of defense is a mask on your face But don't forget this rule You got to wear your mask at school Welcome back, Wolfpack. I'm Michelle with today's September 16th announcements. Yes, it's Thursday. Today is National Mayflower Day. Enjoy our book on campus. Our annual canathon begins September 20th. Remind your parents. Today is special rotation B. Have a great day and nice well weather. I'm Levi with today's weather. You can expect a high of 72 and a low of 64. Rain is highly possible. Be prepared now for our lunch menu. Welcome to Thursday on Hope with your lunch menu for today. Popcorn chicken, breaded chicken sandwich, mac and cheese, black eyed peas, sweet potato fries, frozen fruit cup, and your choice of milk. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. When November comes around, you can't think about Thanksgiving without discussing the Mayflower. And that is where today I want to share 10 interesting facts about the Mayflower for students. Beginning with fact number one, some of the pilgrims were brought from Holland on the Speedwell, a smaller vessel that set sail with the Mayflower on its initial departure on August 15th, 1620. Up next, unfortunately, the initial departure did not work out. That's because the Speedwell could not handle the rough waters of the ocean and was twice forced to return to port. That led to our next fact, 
where the Mayflower set out alone on September 16th in 1620 from Plymouth, which was a port on the southern coast of England. Time-wise, the journey was very long. This was partly because the Mayflower was a merchant ship built for carrying goods like wine, salt, and other things. It was not built to carry passengers, which is why it took the Mayflower 66 days to complete the journey. Now up next, when looking at the size and features on the Mayflower, it had three masts and an estimated 90 to 110 feet in length with a width of approximately 25 feet. Another interesting fact about the passengers on the Mayflower is they did not have an easy ride. That is because most of the passengers experienced a lot of seasickness due to being tossed around by ocean waves with one passenger getting swept overboard to his death. Continuing on with our next fact, it's all about the description and the number of levels on the Mayflower. It is said that the Mayflower had three levels with a cargo hold, a gun deck, and a main deck. Checking out this next fact, it's all about being prepared to fight. That is because the Mayflower was equipped with four medium-sized cannons and eight small-sized cannons. The passenger and crew were worried about pirates and other nations attacking their ship. Although it took 66 days to make it to the New World, the return trip was nowhere near that long. In 1621, the Mayflower set out on its return voyage to England, taking a month to make it home. Now, this next fact makes me think about my own family tree. That is because it is estimated that from the 102 passengers on the Mayflower, there are 35 million people today who are descendants of the passengers on board. And that was our 10th fact from the Mayflower for Students. Hey, I hope you enjoyed. And here on the screen are more videos to keep the learning going. Take a moment to continue watching and I'll see you next time 